Hello, Homestead. This is the first Friday in February. That's a lot of Fs there. February 2nd, it's Groundhog's Day. Um, and so we have a weekly video message for you. I'm Greg Giglio, principal of Homestead High School. Uh, just a few things to go over today. Some shout outs. We had a shout out for our custodial services. Uh, said I was on campus in December after students left and was always so impressed with how clean it was. I'm on campus now for sports events and students being back on campus and still looking great. Thank you for keeping the campus so clean. I'm sure it's not easy. Yeah, they do a lot of hard work. So again, thank you for giving them that shout out. There was also a shout out to actually this was the PTSA. They weren't sure who organized it, but it said it was the PTSA. Thanks to all who organized and volunteered for the Goodwill and Electronics Recycling. Very well run and super easy. Uh, someone also put in a thank you to me for the weekly videos. You're welcome. I have a fun time doing them. Uh, and I also just want to give a shout out uh, for next week is it's our it's National School Counselors Week. Um, and so our five counselors are awesome. That's uh, uh, Miss Alanis, Miss Amosquita, Mr. Chan, Mr. Jesus and Mrs. Wu. Uh, they're all led by Terry Hannigan, uh, but a great uh, group. And so, again, this is their busy time of the year, too, is of course, election goes on. But uh, happy National School Counselor Week to them and other school counselors around our area. Uh, so on to our questions and concerns. It was just a simple demand or request here. Fix the scoreboard. Uh, and actually, we are. It's <laughs> We know it's been on the glitch this year. The problem with having a nice scoreboard like that is it is very expensive to fix. So um, we've been having to get out estimates, and, and uh, we are getting some help from the district because it is so expensive. So it will be ready for next season. Um, so, But it, it is, it's a little glitchy right now. Sorry about that. Uh, general information. We got some traffic reminders. Um, we uh, have again gotten some complaints from our neighbors about loud cars and people rushing out of the out of the parking lots. So again, please try and keep that down if you can, or ask your students to make sure that they're being respectful. Uh, also, again, a reminder that if um, we're going to start enforcing the rule about charging spaces, the electronic vehicle charging spaces. We're asking students to only park there if they are charging because they are, if they're not, they are blocking access and some people are having some difficulty getting their cars charged. So uh, we wanna make sure we're being uh, helpful for everybody. Um, and again, speed limit in the parking lots, no matter which parking lot you're in, and even in the horseshoe is five miles per hour. That is very slow. And it's quite clear when people are not going that slow because it, it definitely can be dangerous in there. So please, again, remember five miles per hour in those areas. Um, our week, our, our important dates, we got a bunch of them here. So um, uh, starting this, why did I say starting this week? I actually started on February 1st. That's another typo. I'll fix that one in a second. Um, but it's, it is uh, Black Student Union Spirit Week. Oh, no, that's why I wrote it. It's, it. This whole month is Black History Month. But the week of February 5th, there is a Spirit Week that's going on uh, as part of Black History Month. There we go. Just read my own writing there. Um, the other things that are going on, we do have a career fair backed by popular demand. We haven't had one for a while because of COVID and all that. And so we're back in the swing of that. We got over 60 uh, speakers. Uh, so it's going to be a pretty great event. Looking forward to it. Uh, believe it or not, we have winter break coming up here and, and the week of uh, February 19th. So again, those of you looking for a little ski week, that's going on there, even just rest and relaxation. Uh, we do have an advisory happening on the 28th, as well as on the 28th, there's world language placement testing for our incoming ninth graders only. Um, the, end, the beginning of March brings the end of the fourth grading period. Again, that is a progress report time. It is not a permanent grade, it's just a progress, but it is a good time and early enough in the semester to fix grades or make sure you're doing working hard to hold on to them. We do have our coll a community college info night for seniors and senior parents only in March 5th. Uh, that's, a, that's a lot of good information there. So if you get a chance, please do that. And I want to throw out that we are having CASP testing. This is the state standardized testing that we are required to go through. Uh, it is the week of 311. Um, the last two years, to be honest, we have gotten uh, penalties for not being able to get everybody tested. There are people who are choosing not to test, and that is your right. Um, but we do wish that people uh, would test because it, that we do get penalized uh, when people don't do that. We don't get our, hit our 95%, uh, and we'd really like to actually get the scores that we earn. So um, if you can, make sure your students are available and ready for that. And again, most of the CAS testing is for juniors, but there'll be information coming out about that. And again, this is the end. Uh, that's all there was for this week. So it was a short and sweet one. Um, but thank you for sending in all those pieces of information and questions. And uh, we look forward to talking to you next week. Have a great weekend and uh, rest up because it's, it's a non-Super Bowl weekend. It's hopefully not raining, but it might be. Uh, so stay dry and be ready for the Niners Super Bowl here in, in a week. Take care, everybody.